I wanted to speak today in opposition to the issuance of the grant for impact residential. There are numerous concerns I have with this project, and I want to start with parking. I think it has been clearly evident, and I know our town manager noted it at the last meeting, that parking is incredibly inadequate for this area. I want to preface this with, I believe deeply in public transportation, I understand this is a transit-oriented development, but even in the communities in this state where public transportation is an integral part of day-to-day -day life, you need a car to get around every other part of the Day. That's the same in Fairfield County. If you take the Metro North, there are waiting lists to get a parking stall there. And that's where public transportation is successful. That is the same here. We have to be realistic with the fact and we have to accommodate for parking. I think a parking garage would be an amazing idea. I think that's essential if we want to redevelop Thompsonville that we have a property that provides parking. Reminder, we spent $1.5 million to clear the strand in La Mania. The public has a vested interest in seeing this project be the best, not simply settling. And it brings to another concern. 80% of the units in this project are subsidized. There are 169 municipalities in this state. It is the collective responsibility of all of them to provide affordable housing. It's a convenient fact that the town of Enfield has not only met that standard, but we've exceeded that standard. And it's time, there's been a lot of talk about baseball tonight. It's time for other communities to step up to the plate. It can't just be Enfield. And in respects to it not being a market rate project, that means two things. Number one, this is the wrong project. Number two, it's the wrong developer because the developer has insinuated previously that the design of the project, which I think a lot of us have spoken about, is in relation to the demographic it seeks to entertain at that site. And that, I think, is simply not something we should move forward with. This is going to be the first thing you see going into Thompsonville. You want a property that is going to be contiguous in character with any other redevelopment project. And it's not like a policy. In two years, you can't just reverse it. Once the foundation's poured, that building is there. And it's there for 70 years. It's going to outlive all of you, and it could outlive me, depending on my diet, we'll find out. But it's going to be there a long time. And so it takes a lot of weight. Um, and I also want to add this. I have a very different perspective than the 11 of you sitting up there. I was born in 2002. And by, by all respects, and I don't mean this in jest, but I have grown up in what has been consistently a town that I've seen in decline. I have never seen our mall succeed. I have never seen the Thompsonville that are in the pictures and then I see the Christmas lights. I've never seen it. There has been 21 years I've been around and we have refused to get the balls to demand something better for this town. And we have an amazing community here that's something that when I lived out in California, I realized firsthand, whether it's the events we have on the green, our parades, the 4th of July, we have an exceptional community. And to expect anything less than setting the highest standard for what we build in this town is something we should not be doing. This project does not set the highest standards. We should be actively going out and seeking developers. And it should be a mixed-use project. And the argument that it can't be because down the street there's some 70-year-old depleted out-of-code commercial storefront that isn't successful is not an argument. Look at Windsor Locks, look at Berlin, look at Manchester. They're redeveloping their downtowns and they got vacant storefronts. Don't take my word for it, drive to these communities. It can be done. It takes initiative. This project is not in the interest of this town. I appreciate when it originally came out, a lot of changes have taken place. And there are a lot of concerns. We have a vested interest, given this was a public piece of property, in ensuring that it is exactly what we expect as residents. And I don't mind being at vacant a little more to make sure we get what we deserve as residents. And I encourage you to reject this grant. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.